Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Uh, I want to make a suggestion to everyone today. Um, I've had something on my mind for quite a while and I just kind of had a... I don't know if it's a revelation or not, but it's an idea that I, I, I want to try to incorporate into uh, my ministry. And if you like it, I hope you'll also incorporate this into to your ministry too. And that is the, uh, the, the terminology that we use. I think we can improve it. Uh, now, those of you who are, follow my channel and uh, I, I agree with uh, uh, my basic theology, the soteriology, the, the theology of salvation, uh, we commonly identify ourselves as free grace believers. And the, the world as a whole doesn't understand what free grace believer is. And if you use the term, it just goes right over their head. and uh, We can explain to them, but the term free grace is not like universally understood, uh, except within those of us who, who are, uh, hold to this doctrine. Uh, but uh, the world as a whole, all those people who uh, identify themselves as some type of a Christian, the vast majority of them do not agree with us on the basic doctrine of salvation, that it is a free gift we receive because of our faith in Jesus. Almost all professing Christians believe that salvation is uh, made up of a combination of believing in Jesus and doing your own part through various types of religious works. So, you know, we, we argue all the time with them, trying to teach them that uh, uh, salvation is not a formula where Jesus did his part and now your part is to do all the works. And, and if you do enough, then, then you know, you'll be saved. So, you know, I, I've spent an awful lot of time uh, arguing against the false doctrine of work salvation, lordship salvation. Uh, many of you, friends of mine, you, you put a lot, a lot of effort also into uh, refuting that false doctrine and defending the doctrine of you know, free grace theology. However, the, the term free grace is, is not really uh, that easily understood. At least uh, you cannot just say, uh, I'm a free grace believer, and people automatically know what you mean. Uh, now, we do have some people who have adopted the term, uh, that, uh, and, and, and many of us identify them ourselves in that way too. Uh, for example, Grace Evangelical Society is a, a group that many of us are familiar with. Uh, I think it was started by Zane Hodges. It's uh, led by today by uh, Bob Wilkin. Grace Evangelical Society, and in their name, the, the key word, of course, is grace. And many people uh, affiliated with that and supporters of that organization, that society, uh, we, we call ourselves grace believers. Uh, Brother Bill has adopted the term also, and he, he started a community uh, that and it was named Gospel of Grace Community. Uh, uh, I know that many times uh, people are asked, well, what kind of a believer are you or what kind of denomination or something? And people will try to identify themselves with some kind of a label. Someone said, well, what, what she is is she's a follower of Jesus. Now, that's a, that's a red flag there. If you identify yourself as a follower of Jesus, it may, it, it, uh, I infer from that that you're believing that, that works are required for your salvation. Uh, someone else might say, well, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Christian. But really, uh, most people who call themselves Christians are not Christians uh, as I understand it from the Bible. So, uh, what is the best term 
the best label, the best uh, terminology for us to use. See, I, I did a word search um, and, and I could not find the term free grace anywhere in the, the Bible. Uh, I looked in the KJV, maybe you can find it in some other translation. Now the concept of free grace is clearly there and it's, it's, a, it's a true and valid concept and I certainly believe in it. Uh, God is very gracious. He doesn't desire that anyone should perish. He wants all of us to believe in Jesus and receive salvation. Uh, he, his grace is offered freely to everyone. So free grace is a true concept, but the term is not in the Bible. You, you cannot find the word free followed by the word grace anywhere in the Bible. Uh, so I, I'm going to suggest that we, uh, we adopt a new terminology. And, and the, the term that I like is free gift. Um, it, if, if I identify myself as a, uh, that my, I have, I believe in free gift theology. Um, I believe in free gift evangelism. I believe in free gift salvation. Uh, most people have a clear understanding of what the word gift is. Everybody knows that a gift is something that you do not buy, you don't work for, you don't earn. Someone else buys it for you and then gives it to you freely. So the idea of a, a gift being free is pretty much universally understood. So I, I, I'm going to purposely try to adopt this terminology of free gift evangelist, free gift theology. Uh, there's a couple of verses here that uh, I'd like to cite as an example. I, I found the term free gift three times. In Romans 5.15, it starts off by saying, but not as the offense, so also is the free gift. Uh, in 5.16, it says, and not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many of offenses unto justification. And the third case of the term is in Romans 5.18. It says, Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. So the term free gift appears three times. Uh, the word gift relating to salvation also appears in, in Ephesians uh, 2, 8, 9, for by grace are we saved through faith and that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So there it tells us that salvation is a gift. Uh, we also have in Romans six twenty three, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So we can see in those verses that salvation is a gift, eternal life is a gift, and here in these book verses in Romans, uh, it's identified as a free gift. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, move myself from using the term free grace to free gift. I don't know if this is going to be real significant uh, to anybody, but I think it's, it's uh, you know, we want to be simple. We want to be clear. Salvation is simple. It's easy. And let's make it as clear as possible. Uh, I'm, I'll be interested in your thoughts on this. Uh, if you agree with me, then, then join me and let's adopt the terminology free gift theology, free gift evangelism. Uh, free gift salvation. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.